Hey guys, Garacore EDC here. Here's my cat Scoot. He's taking a nap. He's my boy. He's a good cat. Um, I have a few Tucson's today. Um, I'm not gonna go in real depth reviews, measurements. Most of these have been seen on eBay and on uh, YouTube before. I wanted to start this one out first. This is the uh, TS-107. This is the blade that started it all. <laughs> um, absolutely love this knife. It's a great, great knife. Beautiful design. Um, it's a Wong design. Blade centering perfect. Pocket clip is good, but not great. It's a little bit hard to get in and out of pocket because it lays in that valley. Um, but it does work. Uh, standard 8mm Torx all around. Um, nice lanyard hole built into the back spacer. Through open design. Easy to clean, easy to grease oil um, really very well functioning knife um, I'll do a video later a spreadsheet of dimensions and such um, we have two of the same here these are the Tucson TS50 in titanium and G10 um, Take these two knives side by side, and you can see that the G10 is substantially larger. I got a cat that's wanting to be a film hog. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. You being loving? Daddy loves you. Yeah, boy. Pretty boy. Okay. The G10 is available right now on eBay. Um, it's a nice solid knife. It's thick in the hand. It's a little, little heavy. Um, this one does have titanium liners. It's got the uh, insert there uh, on this one. It is a uh, also a through design clean with a G10 milled backspacer um, and then this is the titanium version these are both called the tusk TS50 tusk um, I think I like this one a little better blade shape is pretty much identical um, Both of them are one cliff style blades, night morning designs, T8 hardware all around, good pocket clip on this, also through design. Um, there is no lanyard option on this knife or this knife. So, that's a little disappointing. I'm a lanyard guy. Um, a lot of my knives I like to create a lanyard for. Some that I can remove and put back on if necessary. With a through slip through design. Um, this knife here feels really good in hand. What you think about it, Mr. Scoot? Hmm? You like the knife? You like the knife? Yeah. <laughs> um, it's got some real nice milled features on this blade, on the scales. Jipping on the back. Also, jipping on the black. These blades are probably interchangeable. Um, I think they they would be. 
Um, this is, again, this is rare. You're not going to find one of these in the eBay community at this time. I'm not sure if it's been discontinued or what. Um, same style backspacer, but this one is the uh, titanium. Um, I'll be giving later reviews on these um, with measurements and such. Possibly takedowns, teardowns, and put back together so you can see what it looks like. Um, that'll have to be after I get a hands free device. Um, I have a little bit of a rarity here. This is a, a lanyard I've done and a uh, Celtic anvil made by Covenant. Got this on eBay. It's a whistle and an anvil. It can be used as a knuckle that way, that way. Um, it can be used multiple ways like that. Um, it's a little tight on my finger, so it's not really a great defense tool per se. You could use it if my hands were a little smaller. Um, I mainly got it because I like the Celtic knot work. Um, not sure if y'all seen in the videos. I got a few tattoos. Um, my heritage comes from uh, Wales and Scotland and England. Um, but I'm American by birth, American by blood. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe, like. Bells on. God bless America. And everybody else too. Thanks. Good night.